What's up, Facebook, family, and friends? You know, it's your boy, your guy, one and only, Flim Jim 101. Y'all know I'm doing the weighted vest, silent suit layer challenge, running for blessings and prayers. Man, like I say, I have a goal that I'm trying to reach, and I'm going to reach it. Y'all see how hard I'm working. But like I said, man, I don't just do this for me. I do this for you. I do this for God. Who do you do it for? Man, I'm here today. Like I say, man, I don't have much time. Because I ran kind of late tonight, so got a big day tomorrow. Got to get the kids ready. We both got early days tomorrow, so I just want to let y'all know, man. God told me to tell y'all, y'all doing great. And you know who I'm talking to. The ones that are actually trying, the ones that are actually putting God first, and the ones that are actually praying, and the ones that are actually believing. Y'all know who I'm talking to. God told me to tell y'all he on his way. And when he comes, he's going to drop nothing but blessings on you. He's going to drop blessings on your family and the people that's around you. So you just keep doing what you're doing. Keep sticking out like a sore thumb. Quit trying to be like the crowd. Be yourself. You know, like I said, man, God is real. God is good. All the time. Man, I'm proud of y'all though, man. I ain't lying to you. Especially the ones that comment, the ones that follow me, the ones that encourage me, the ones that get me up and, and ask me, hey man, would you run for my family? Would you run for my mom? Would you run for me, Ario? Or would you do this for me? Man, I got you. I'm never gonna say no. I'm never, ever gonna turn down God's work. So, like I said, man, to you sitting on that couch that's just mad at life, mad at yourself, man, get up. Go look in the mirror. Go talk to yourself. Go talk to that guy. Go talk to that reflection. Because sometimes you just may get an answer from yourself. Believe it or not, that guy in the mirror is you. Trust me. It's you. It may look, it may look like two people, but that's you, man. Go talk to him. Find the answer. Find the way. Pray. Talk to God. You know what I mean? Talk to God. You know, don't go begging, man. Don't go, you know, and, and like, you know, just because you need him right now, you have to talk to God, man. In order to have a relationship with God, man, you got to know him. I'm not saying he's not going to help you, but I mean, if you know him, then you know his next move. Then you know what he's going to do. You know what type of blessings he's coming with. You know he's going to fix it. But if you don't know him, you don't know when your blessings coming. It's a waiting game. So like I said, man, Pray. Believe. Put God first. Quit fitting in with the crowd. If that crowd ain't about Jesus, Christ himself, or that crowd ain't about, you know, helping people, about doing the right thing, get away from it. Get away from it. Like I said, man, life is too short to be hating, to be trying to pull someone down, push someone down. Let's start picking somebody up for a change. You know what I mean? Let's start helping them out. Give them a helping hand for a change. Even if they don't have nothing to give you back. Believe it or not, even the Grinch that stole Christmas, even the Grinch found himself having a heart at the end of the movie. So y'all let that marinate. So there's no such thing. As you know what I mean? You don't look for, you don't look for blessings back. When I run for y'all, when I run, do this blessing and prayer, run for y'all. I don't be looking for God to do nothing for me. I be looking for God to give me another task to do. I be looking for God for to say, hey man, I got 30 more people for you to run for. I'm like, thank you, Jesus. That's a blessing. That's my blessing right there. Because like I said, I want to get in shape. I want to stay in shape. I want to stay healthy. I want to be able to run around and, and, and do things with my kids. So with that being said, man, God bless y'all, man. 